Hi friends, welcome back. Today I present to you the last recipe in the CKP Veg Special series. It's called Shengauni. It is basically a drumstick curry and you can have it like a soup or with rice or with chapati. I am using 3 drumsticks for this recipe and this makes enough uh, curry for 4 people. I start by removing the ends of the drumsticks and pulling the outer tough layer of the drumstick. Then I cut it into 2 inch pieces and every time I go, don't go all the way through to make sure that I am able to pull off the outer tough skin. By pulling out the outer tough skin partially, it makes sure that the drumstick cook properly but at the same time they don't fall apart completely while cooking and still retain their shape. Now that the drumsticks are ready, I heat a thick bottom pan or medium heat and add about a tablespoon of oil to it. Once the oil is hot, I add the mustard seeds, pinch of hing and half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Next, I add one medium onion finely chopped and fry it in the tadka or fodni for 2 to 3 minutes till it softens up. Now it's time to add the curry leaves and some fresh chopped coriander. Next, I add half a teaspoon of red chili powder. You can increase the quantity of red chili powder based on your liking. Fry it for a few seconds and then add the chopped drumsticks. Fry the drumsticks in this masala for a good two, one or two minutes to make sure that the masala coats the drumsticks well. Then add four cups of water and bring it to a boil. Cook it covered for 15 to 20 minutes till the drumsticks are completely cooked. Give it a stir every 4 to 5 minutes to check on the drumsticks and also to make sure there is enough water for the drumsticks to cook. If you think that the water is cooking off quickly, you can add one more cup of water and make sure that the drumsticks are cooked fully. As you can see, the drumsticks are now cooked. They open up very easily. Now it's time to add the final set of ingredients, which is about one, one and a half tablespoon of tamarind pulp, one teaspoon of chopped jaggery and salt to taste. Once the mixture is back to a boil, add a paste of fresh coconut. It's just some fresh coconut with little bit of water. Add the paste, give it a good mix and then let it cook on medium flame for last 5 minutes and your drumstick curry or shengauni is ready. You can have it like a soup or with rice or simply for dunking your chapati in the hot curry. If you haven't already, do click the subscribe button because this month I am starting with a new series called Back to Basics. Watch this space for details of this series next week. See you. Bye bye.